M0FXB, welcome back to my TRD Radio hacking videos. Massive thanks to Marcus Dudley and all the work. And it, yes, of course it's appreciated. We love tinkering. But you are taking a risk when you when you tinker like me and you may brick your radio. But I've never known one bricked yet, but you never know. So download this file here now. I did get a problem with the Trojan. So I just went into Windows Defender and told it to allow it. Um, so there was a bit of learning there. If you start to type in your search at the bottom here, Defender, and you get this little blue, I don't know, window security thing here, which I created a shortcut for. So when you click that, you get this window open up, and then you can go into security, like so. Then protection history, and then threats blocked it took me somewhere and then i just allowed it and then it downloaded so give it a go so then i could go to my download arrow at the top here click it there's the bundle click it get this window and then i sent it go extract extract here to a folder that i created here on the far right you just right click and go new folder and then name it and I just extracted the whole lot into that in that was the program you're seeing on the right hand side so if I just double click that and these are all the different windows and I just double click Nick firmware programmer and then this appears here okay and then within there if you look there's a bin file if you look here so I'm going to just drag that bin file so I want it separate. I'm hoping that bin file will just go into my radio. You can see it's here. I don't want to know where it is. So let's go over to the radio and load this up. So go to the link that I provide. Download the programming software. See it says here firmware upgrade. And then you've got the TDH3 IAP. Double click that. This is what loads firmware onto these radios. And just go next 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 you'll get this little oh it wants a name so we just put m0 fxb it will make you log in to download software it's free but it, it makes you log in finish and then if you go to your windows square start you'll see this little it's not there look on your desktop a little yellow radio and here's mine here look tidh3 i'm going to right click and tell it to pin it to the taskbar, which will put it right at the bottom. We've got our radio. Twin pin cable is plugged in on the right hand side. I use the all in one on Amazon, all in one cable. Program, we've double clicked, it's opened up the file or the firmware programmer. We need to know our COM port, so we're going to go right click, device manager. Right click on the Windows Square. Then here it says ports. Double click. And then port 16 is showing just here where it says ports. So you know that. Now we're going to open the file. So let's find that file that we put on my desktop. So we'll go, it's there in downloads as well. I'm going to try this one. This is the one firmware RC2 bin. I'm going to try that. So turn off the radio, then click start, got my hand in the way, sorry. Uh, click start and then push your PTT and then turn on. And you shouldn't need to keep your finger on the PTT. So that loads the, the firmware. There you go, very nice screen markers, thank you. So as far as I know, that's the latest firmware. OK, so double click and open up the remote programming software. And the section I'm looking at first is here where it says remote. So in this, I'm going to go down and go to the COM port that was 16. So all I did was select COM 16. I had to close it, then reopen it. And of course, the radio is connected via the twin pins. And then it came to life. So I've literally never used this before ever. 
Um, so let's try something. Four, three, four. Uh, do we need to put a dot in? Five. Uh, we need to put a zero in there, so... We'll start again, we'll go zero, four, three, four. I'm just using my mouse at the moment. You probably type your keyboard, five, five, zero, zero. So that should pick up my my node if it transmits. Now you get, I don't know if you'll hear anything because I'm using the twin pin, but I know you won't hear anything. I've tried my USB-C, but it's, it's asking for driver, but that's okay, we can just, show this part for now I notice when I press the F the torch came on <laughs> um, and yeah the PTT does PTT and you see the signal meter change as well and then menu you start to go up and down all the menus as you click the up and down arrows here remember please remember this is you know, this is an ongoing process. Okay. Very good. Now we've got Bluetooth there, so let's just tick that. Did I tick it? Ah, uh, it says here, it doesn't really like the blue me doing that at the moment. Okay, fair enough. Come out of menu. We press the X. Yeah, back to our screen. Let's have a quick look on the top here. Channels. Wow, have I got all that in there? We're going to go read. It's reading our memory channels. I get sent code plugs. I just put them in there. So, no. I thought it was a blank radio, and it is a blank radio, which is fair enough. Bla band plan there. Power calibration. Remote, which is what we're on. I don't really know what this is. Restrictions. Disable scope. So I haven't seen the band scope yet. So we'll have to frequency counter and tune up. Settings. Usual settings. It's all there. TX mod meter. I don't know what that is, but I've turned, I've ticked it. <laughs> and da, 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 da. and scan presets, and then you've got FM tuner. So that's your radio, isn't it? Back to remote. I just want to show you before I finish this radio, because I think Nick might find it interesting. This is the uh, Radtel 890, okay? And this has got some hack firmware on it, but it's made by Radtel. If I press the button underneath the PTT, we start to get, if I just... This scope come up. And if I press some of these buttons, we start to get a waterfall. Now this firmware is called the M70. If I back out, it actually reminds me of Marcus's firmware. If I just, um, let me look now. Hold down the exit. You've got all these different controls. Very colorful. And you've got the signal meter, meter. at the top as well and it, it changes color when you key so that's the Radtel 890 and uh, the firmware is completely downloadable if uh, if Marcus wants to have a look at that thanks for watching my YouTube channel um, thanks to Marcus and yeah enjoying tinkering not sure why the I can't use if I could use the COM port on my USB-C, then I could probably hear what I'm I'm looking at, but I can't at the moment. I'll try it, because I've got three of these H3s. I think they're fantastic. Thanks for watching my YouTube channel. You know me, I'm just in the shack, tinkering, having fun. 
you want to buy me a coffee or and mark us go for it go to our facebook pages buy us a coffee but definitely please hit that subscribe please like it does mean a lot to us if we get more subscribers we feel like we're being appreciated so please hit the subscribe button bye for now all the best cheers marcus